It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> 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 So we have a wide variety of experiences in here. And one more from over here. Okay. Um, I was just this year I was on the show team. I showed sheep and it was a really good experience and kind of again like things wrong because I never liked sheep before. I kinda wound up to them and they all so I think that's the best one. Yeah, 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 that's the best one. She, tr she tried to train me for showing sheep when I was here observing, but it didn't work out really well. I don't know if you remember me chasing one of them. But. Oh, yeah, you were there. <laughs> okay, so that was great, but did any of you have any problems thinking of three experiences that you've had this year so far? So some are honest, okay, quite a few of you. And that's the thing that I really wanted to hit on, is that we don't always choose to try new experiences. We don't always... Uh, try those things that make us feel uncomfortable and challenge us to grow. But these new experiences that many of you have talked about this morning, whether it was swimming, whether it was your SAE, or you were talking about the playoffs, right? And showing sheep. I know that would be a new experience for me as well. So, <laughs> so the, all of these things brought in our experience range and make us a well-rounded person. And if you didn't come up with three, how, how many months have we been in school? Always September, October, November, about three months, maybe a little more. That's three months that you've had to try new things. And you're in the perfect spot, or perfect position as high school students to try something new every single day, I promise you. And you want to make sure that you take advantage of every, every opportunity to try something new. So look around the room, and you can see I have, there are a couple flip charts. One is labeled academic. One is labeled in the back sports. There's MFA. And then over here, we have community. Think about all the experiences that we can have in each of these areas, new experiences that we haven't been exposed to yet, whether it be in our community or whether it be in a new sport that we've never been a part of. How can we gain new experiences in these areas to, um, to become a more well-rounded person? In just a few seconds, I'm going to split you guys up, and you're going to rotate around the room and when you land in each section or each area, you're going to run down a few new experiences that you or someone else in this classroom could have, okay? And this is something that you've never been exposed to before that you think is a great idea for people your age to experience. So what's an example of something in sports that we, is a new experience? Just for example, before we move forward. Huh? Lifting weights. Lifting weights. If you've never done that before, Perfect. Put it on there and maybe others can learn from that. So let me split you guys up really quick. This group, you're not going to have to move too far. When I say go, you're going to stand up and go to academic, okay? This group, it's a group of four. Let's have you two join, okay? Is that all right? What are your names? <laughs> Edgar Jessica. and Jessica. Okay. Edgar and Jessica, if you don't mind joining that group. All right. I think it is. Now, back to, what's your name? Oh. Alex. Back to Alex, this section right here. You are going to go to FFA when I say go. And really quick, guys, I believe I told you sports, just to make sure. And those of you that are left, that leaves you and you three, you're going to community. Okay? And remember, when you get to these stations, you're going to write down new experiences that you've never had before. And there should be markers below the flip charts that may be in the floor or on the counter. What questions are there before we disperse? Go. And I'll tell you when to rotate. Okay. Are you guys that really good? Yeah. Um, no. Good. But, um, Go ahead. Not everybody. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm not okay. 